Thank you so much and Shabbat Shalom. 2021 has been quite a year for all of us in so many ways, both large and small, very similar and very different. We're all asking, what does the future hold? Planning for anything in today's environment feels like playing whack-a-mole with a piece of wet spaghetti. <laughs> in true CBSD fashion, despite this, and in some ways because of this, we have had a banner year of hybrid and online and in-person activities, a year that has been filled with innovative programming, expanded educational offerings for young people and older folks, increased, I can say that again, increased pastoral work, deeply moving prayer and celebration, because we always love our simchas, gorgeous and uplifting music, thank you Joyce and Sam and many others, and of course, we are always here supporting each other through loss and change, through sickness and death, and of course, hosting a, a vibrant panoply of social justice programs that just keep growing. I want you to know that CBST is strong and we are thriving. We have to date 956 member households, which translates into nearly 1,400 individual members. That is quite an achievement. Of those, 114 were new in 2021 alone. They hail from all over the US and Canada. As far as I know, it's still 48 states. We're waiting for the other two states. I know there's a new member from West Virginia just this year. That to me is enough to write home about. <laughs> Many of these new members are under 40, which gives me great hope for the future. And we continue to welcome new faces to our services each Friday night from a variety of age groups and locales, I have to admit. I am deeply grateful and humbled every single day to be president of this magnificent synagogue. I'm honored to work with such inspirational and uplifting clergy, such hardworking and capable staff, and such dedicated and committed board members these are the people who held their own talis while they were being blessed. So they go above and beyond. And of course, I'm grateful every day to you, the members of CBST, who make up the marvelous mosaic that is our synagogue. Our goal in any time, and especially during COVID, is to create a safe and deeply nurturing space for serious Jewish exploration that honors all aspects of a person's identity. In this spirit, I look forward to a 2022 filled with surprises. Certainly 2021 has had its share. <laughs> and also some exciting things that are already underway. As you know, our search begins in earnest in January for our next assistant rabbi. The first half of the year will also see us hiring two new rabbinic interns. I'm excited about the new AV equipment that we're going to get for our sanctuary, which will allow us to add back in more seating and remove these pesky cameras and wires from the floor. We're excited to share news from various task forces about new programming and initiatives. And of course, we continue our website work as it migrates to a new platform. I know that's not that exciting to you. For me, it's extremely exciting. <laughs> and of course, we look forward to welcoming back Rabbi Kleinbaum from her sabbatical on April 1st, we can show her just how busy we've been since she's been away resting with her feet up. And Baruch Hashem, I look forward to an in-person congregational retreat from April 29th until May 1st. Let's call, everybody cross your fingers now. And really, one of the more exciting things is I'm looking forward to planning for our 50th anniversary celebration, which will take place in 2023. The board has already engaged in a deep dive of brainstorming, and I look forward to much, much more early next year. I do want to share with you that the most challenging and heartbreaking moment of my first year as president came about during our deliberations around High Holy Day services. As you know, we tried hard to create an in-person High Holy Day experience for each of us, but it didn't happen. I cannot tell you how much love and care and energy and vision went and work, hard work went into all the various scenarios that we floated. We really, really tried 
I'm grateful to the CBSG staff and clergy, the board of directors, and everyone else who spitballed and brainstormed and researched and plotted and really, really, really tried to make it a reality. I'm grateful every day to the medical committee, Dr. Nate Goldstein, Dr. Regina Linder, Dr. Neil Hoffman, and Dr. Roseanne Leipzig. Their advice and insights have been invaluable. They have been willing to meet with CBSD leadership every single week since COVID began. Huge kudos to the staff and clergy who have tailored and revised the process of having a synagogue, running a synagogue, running the programs, carrying out this work every single day since COVID began. Everything has been turned on its head and reinvented. This is an enormous undertaking, especially, especially in this time of great need. Last night, Rabbi Cohen spoke about the spaces in between, the transitions which represent a bridge from one thing to the next. The Parsha this week is Vayechi, which also marks a transition, the end of the book of Genesis. In the Parsha, Jacob, rising from his deathbed, honors his transition by reciting blessings. He blesses his grandsons, Ephraim and Menashe, which we know inspired the Jewish practice of blessing children each Shabbat. It feels appropriate that blessings mark a liminal moment. You say a blessing before doing something. You also say a blessing on the completion of something, and many other times as well. Blessings are interwoven in Jewish life to mark the transitions we all experience constantly. I love the idea that the act of blessing makes us stop and think about what just happened and what is about to take place. Likewise, tonight, I am so grateful that the CBST community and clergy blessed the incoming board of directors. I like to think of it as an acknowledgement, a wish, a vehicle for sending strength and love, and an affirmation of support and a deep sense of community. We're deeply honored that you have entrusted us with the well-being of the sacred kahila, and we promise to do our best every single day. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>